I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also terrified. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan, if we haven't met. And today we are gonna talk about what I am putting in my toddler's diaper bag on a 12 hour to a thousand mile trip with Ubers and airplanes and airports and families driving, like all kinds of craziness. It's going to take us from 3 a.m. in Chicago until about 3 p.m. in Mexico. So buckle in, we're gonna see what I'm packing for my toddler. She is two years old and what I am hoping is going to keep her entertained, fed and safe and dry <laughs> for this crazy long day of a trip. So like I said, my daughter is two, her name's Amelia. Uh, we have traveled with her before. We have traveled with her to California when she was eight months old. We have also traveled with her to Mexico last year when she was about 13 months old. And so this will be her third major airplane trip experience. And the first two times she was a lap infant and she was much younger. She wasn't as mobile. So that came with its own challenges, but this time she is over two years old, so we bought her her own seat. We are going to bring a car seat with us on the plane, so hopefully she will feel contained and comfortable and safe. Um, we did go ahead and buy the Costco Sonera car seat, which is only like seven pounds. It's incredible. So we're going to try that for the first time. In the past, we have brought her larger convertible car seat with us, but we've checked it. So I know people have different opinions about that, but that's what we did in the past. And this time we're going to try her in the car seat. So we'll let you know how that goes, but I'm hoping that it will be a positive and that she will feel secure and that it will keep her contained and happy throughout the trip. So without further ado, what is in her carry-on. Let me start with actually the main compartment. Let's just see what we have in here. So in, and also by the way, I like this backpack a lot and I think you can get it on Amazon. I will link it in the, in the comments and in the description, but I really like it. Lots of compartments, lots of flexibility, lots of options. So the main compartment, I have a small pack of wipes. I have her diapers and her pull-ups. So let's talk about the pull-ups. So on, if you haven't flown with a small child or toddler before, um, most, if not all airplanes do have a small changing table in the bathroom on the plane. However, it is a very small changing table. Even at one year old, when we traveled the last time, my daughter was way too big to lay down on that changing table. She hates laying down on public changing tables in general. And so what I have tried before this trip is pull-ups. So even if she is not potty training, which she's not, I have found that pull-ups are a really good solution for this problem because she can stand on the changing table and then I can just change her. Um, the pull-ups will rip on the side to take them off. And then you just have them step in and pull up. Uh, the wiping is a little complicated <laughs> if they're standing, but for us, this is what works best. It is way easier than, than trying to have her lay down and be uncomfortable and discombobulated and fighting. So highly highly recommend if if you can try pull ups for the plane and your travel day it will make your life so much easier um i did also pack some regular diapers just because that i think that they're probably a little more comfortable for her so when we can put her in the regular diapers we will but especially for the plane i'm doing the pull-ups so that's that and then for entertainment we have a book, so whatever kind of book is fine. You know your kid best, um, but this is kind of a fun one for us. It's called, a, it's like a search and find book. There's tons of things to look at, different animals, whatever. So that's a really cool activity. Uh, I will get to some other stuff in the other compartment, but that's what I have in here. And then I'm also going to fit in her iPad. Let's just, I don't have it with me, unfortunately. I'm in my office filming today. She is with a babysitter. 
Um, but let's talk about, let's just talk about the iPad. So we are a screen time family. We have YouTube premium on her iPad and we have a case on it like a, so that it doesn't get broken. Um, and so if you have YouTube premium, there are no ads and more importantly for travel, you can download videos. So if you don't have YouTube premium right now, uh, this is not a sponsorship. YouTube is not telling me to say this. I am just telling you for my own personal experience, get YouTube premium, even if it's only a trial. I think they do like a free week trial. When you know you're about to travel, do that because it is so worth it to be able to download shows that you know your kid like and then they can have access to it. I know there's other apps like Netflix, Disney Plus, whatever, that might have kid shows that your kid likes. Um, I'm not as familiar with those or what the downloading situation is, but whatever you need to do, download some entertainment for your kid if you're gonna bring an iPad. I will say for us, some show recommendations if you don't let your kid watch a lot of screen time, things that are low stimulation but educational and fun would include things like Miss Rachel. Super Simple Songs is amazing. I would also recommend Buster the Bus. She freaking loves that show. I don't know why. Another one is Finny the Shark. That's another from Super Simple Songs. Finny the Shark is really cute. And then I would also say Katie's Classroom, similar to Miss Rachel, but part of the Super Simple Songs universe. One more. Oh, the last one is called Rexy the Dinosaur. Or two more. Rexy the Dinosaur is beautiful, but it also is a little realistic. Like it has some dinosaur on dinosaur violence. So you might want to screen that before you show your kid. My daughter loves it, um, but it is a little, it can get a little dark. Uh, and then the last one is if you type in like dinosaur and then pink fong, P-I-N-K-F-O-N-G. I'll link these below. She really likes that as well. Some of those are a little more annoying. Um, and have like some questionable content like you know the, one of the baby dinosaurs is whining a little bit so if you're not into that don't look it up but if your kid really likes dinosaurs check it out so for entertainment those are things I would download there's also a couple of apps that are cool like there's an app called nighty night and it it's nighty night animals and it's interactive and you don't need the internet for it and you can like put all the little farm animals to bed and it's adorable. So that is an option. So for the, for the iPad, that's what I would recommend. If you can hold off on the iPad, hold off on it. But I personally have no issue with it and I think it is a great tool for keeping the little ones entertained. Um, also, we are going to bring in here, I, again, I don't have it with me, but we're gonna bring headphones for her, Bluetooth headphones. Make sure that those are charged up before the trip. Make sure that you practice connecting it to the iPad before you leave. This next compartment, I really like that it unzips, whoops, it unzips all the way, which is nice. If you have stuff deep down in there, um, I guess this thing that fell out, I'll show you. This is a swaddle blanket. This is a swaddle, it's from Little Sleepies, not sponsored. I just really like it. I like the bamboo fabric because it's very cool. So if you're going to a hot environment, it is very cooling, which is nice. It's very lightweight, it's stretchy. Um, a swaddle blanket just has so many practical uses from comfort to warmth to laying it on the ground if your kid insists on sitting on the ground. Also, like in, a, in an emergency, you could use it to clean something up if you really needed to. So this is a great thing to have. You don't have to get a bamboo one. Like if you have a swaddle blanket at home, if it's cotton, if it's muslin, whatever, but highly recommend. The other thing along those same lines is an extra outfit for your child. I will also say, I will also pack another outfit for me. So one of my extra outfits that I'm already bringing on the trip, I am going to put um, either, probably not in the diaper bag itself, but in our carry-on that we're bringing on the plane, just so that we have a backup. <laughs> if <laughs> there is a blowout, if my daughter spills something on me, if I spill something on myself, what have you, I will have another shirt 
underwear and pants. Um, I say underwear because if you spill a drink on your lap and then you change your pants, you're probably going to want dry underwear too. So pro tip, <laughs> uh, but for the child's extra outfit, definitely put it in a Ziploc bag, not only to keep it clean in the bag, but also if you are going to be changing outfits in an emergency on your long travel day, the likelihood is that it will be messy. So you want to have something to keep it, a dirty outfit separate from everything else in the bag so that the whole bag doesn't get wet or dirty. So that, is that. And then the last thing that I have in that compartment is toys, um, just more entertainment stuff. So we got this super cool toy. It's like a sticker stamper and a little um, booklet to stamp on here. It's Melissa and Doug. This was highly recommended in all of the mommy travel groups that I've been in. Um, I've also heard like the Melissa and Doug puffy sticker, like reusable puffy sticker um, scenes are fun for kids this age. And then I also just have a couple of like regular sticker packets that you get like at the birthday section at the grocery store. I also have this random like dental mirror <laughs> that we happen to have that my daughter found and thought was fantastic. So we're bringing that. And then I'm also, I don't have it with me now, but I'm gonna throw in a couple of little toy cars and just some other small toys that she likes to play with. So that's what's going in here. And honestly, you don't need to go overboard. I think in the past I have gone cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs when it comes to packing things for my daughter's entertainment. And the truth of the matter is, traveling by itself is already going to be overstimulating. It's already going to be like sensory overload. Um, you don't really need a lot of fancy expensive things. Like my daughter likes tape, painter's tape. She likes post-it notes, simple, simple things that you can just bring with you. Also, if your kid likes to draw or color, you can bring some crayons or some washable markers, like whatever your kid likes, just pack it. You don't have to go out and spend $100 on you know specific stuff for travel. Um, I know I did buy a few things that are specifically for this, like things that are brand new for her that'll be interesting, but you don't need to go crazy, okay? You don't need to go over the top. So that's my, that's my soapbox. Now we're going to talk about snacks. That is the key here. So in, also in this compartment, I always, always keep like, you know, little fruit snacks. I have these little organic fruit snacks. Um, I also have non-organic fruit snacks. So live your life. I have some yogurt covered raisins. I have some little veggie straw snacks. So just that kind of stuff I just always have in here, but for travel, same thing. You know what your kid likes, put it in the bag. I will also, when it comes to packing on the day of travel, I am going to put uh, some yogurt pouches. When you travel, TSA does allow for toddlers and babies, they do allow you to bring a reasonable amount of liquids and gels. For your baby so all they're gonna do is you let them know when you're going through TSA like hey I have a toddler I have some liquids for her that I'm bringing through can you check me and they will pull you aside you will um, put your hands out and they're gonna put a little swab on your hands no no big deal no big whoop and then they will test that swab that they took right there they have a little machine and as long as you have not done anything nefarious, they will send you on your way. So no big deal. Bring your liquids, bring formula, breast milk. I'm gonna bring a water bottle. I'm gonna bring some milk and I'm going to bring yogurt pouches and I'm just gonna let the TSA person know. They're gonna test it, gonna move on with our day. Now let's zip this back up. Um, when I'm on the plane, I'm probably not 
going to unzip this all the way because it can get a little unwieldy, but I just wanted to let you know you could unzip it all the way, especially if you're trying to cram stuff in there. Almost done. In this bag, part of the bag in this compartment is the binky compartment. So if your kid takes a pacifier, uh, I would bring two bags. I would bring a clean binky bag and a dirty binky bag or passy or whatever you call it in your house. Um, so the pacifiers, I know I only have two here. I'm probably gonna have like 10, honestly, when we go. <laughs> so I'm gonna have 10 in the clean and then as she drops them or throws them or whatever happens, they'll go in the dirty bag. Um, I would recommend that the bags look a little different if you can, or if you only have one kind of bag or container, then I would write dirty with a marker on the dirty one. And then when you get to your destination, you can clean it. The next compartment, these, these front compartments are really just for my own personal items. So like gum, I'll put my phone in here, I'll put um, like whatever, just my personal stuff, chargers, things like that. Probably more snacks, honestly. And then for my wallet and passport, there is this nice little zippered part back here. It's like, it goes into the back part of the backpack. So I'll probably put valuables back here. And then, or we also wear, we're so cool. So old. My husband and I will probably wear our passports around our neck in one of those like travel passport pouches because we are so cool. Yeah, and then like I said, liquids, so sippy cups, bottles, whatever you want in here. And that is the diaper bag for 12 hours and 2,000 miles in one day. This trip that we're taking is going to be a 10 day trip total. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also terrified. I will also say that we we're packing a lot of stuff, but other just little travel tips, I will say we're gonna pack at least two checked bags. So that'll have all the toiletries and like most of our stuff in it but we are packing one carry-on suitcase in addition to our personal items. Um, so my husband and my daughter and I are all gonna have our like extra outfits, extra underwear, um, swimsuits, like anything that we really, really need, like the most important things that could get us through a couple of days if our main luggage is lost, we're gonna put it in that carry-on. My son Amari is also just gonna have his own carry-on. He's not gonna check a bag, he's just gonna have his carry-on. So he'll have everything that he needs with him and we'll put his toiletries and stuff in our main bag that we're gonna check. And then we're also bringing a travel stroller. So we're not bringing our really nice collapsible stroller just because it's very cumbersome. It would be nicer but it's also just a lot more of a pain in the neck to collapse and put in and out of cars and you know checking it at the gate at the airport is just a hassle so we're gonna do just a small travel stroller that folds up really small like an umbrella and we'll gate check that but we're gonna bring it with us through the airport to hopefully corral our child but anyway thank you so much for watching i think those are all the travel tips i have let me know in the comments below if I forgot anything or if there's anything that you would recommend to other people um, for travel. See you next time. Bye-bye.